Welcome to the final video for this series and the last thing we're going to be focusing on is, is the WP query class and I just wanted to get this in before I ended the WordPress videos and what we're going to do is just go and display a category or we're going to query for a category and just output it to the screen pretty simple so um, like we did before we're just going to copy and paste a snippet right here the standard loop and you can paste this anywhere in your project but I'm just going to pick a page and just paste it in, in one of my pages. So just copy this. And by the way, if you want to find this page, uh, just go down in the description below and click on the link down there and you'll end up on this page quicker. And then just copy this page. And let's go and paste this into our project and see what this can do. You can pick any page you want. I'm just going to paste it right in our about page. That'd be fine. So right below the sidebar, I guess, I'll just throw in a container, like a, a section tag. That'd be fine. Great, and then just paste this, and let's just move this in, clean it up, make it look nicer. All right, so if you've been following along from the beginning, this is just your standard loop, like we're doing up here. We got a uh, the standard WordPress loop. So we're doing the exact same thing, but the only difference is we're actually querying for something, and then we're adding the this variable right here at the beginning of everything like up here in the, this loop up here we don't have that they have post but right here we're adding it to the beginning of the have post function that's the only difference so that's pretty much the same as a normal wordpress loop so now let's find what we want to query for so what we want to query for for our situation is a certain category name so what we're going to do is go back to the browser and then up here they have certain things you could query for like in our case it's the category so i'm just going to click on that and you could query by the id of the category or you could query by the name and that's what i'm going to do in our case let's just query by the name now i'm looking for i know i have a category name called wordpress so that's what we're going to search the categories for so let's just go back here let's just paste that right in here and i want to query for a WordPress category. Okay, so when it finds that, then it's gonna go and display all the posts within that category and show the titles. And then, oh yeah, this is very important too. Make sure you reset everything so you don't have conflicts of your different classes. So that's very important. So make sure you use this function within a loop. So that's very important. Okay, let's save it. Let's go and run it on the, the uh, front and see what it looks like. So I paste all of that code inside the about page. So let's just refresh it. And then, okay, great. We're getting all the titles for each of those posts. So what we did is we went, we made a query for the WordPress category and we found a WordPress category. And then we just used a normal, normal WordPress loop and we displayed all the titles of each of those posts to our page. So that is one way of using that class. And there's multiple different ways of using the WP query class. I could spend a whole hour on that actually. And, uh, but I just want to scratch the surface on that on this video. So that's going to be pretty much it for videos for this series. And I'm going to be moving on to different things. And I like to thank everyone that's been leaving comments and suggestions and things like that in the comment section below. And um, I actually read them a lot and they really helped me out a lot, actually. So thanks a lot. And stay tuned. I'll be making more videos and I'll be back uh, pretty soon. So I'll see you later.